is with us today. They are bright, shining faces are ours. These young people will sally forth for us carrying the banner of decency, love, honesty, intelligence, and they will forge our coming world. Hairdressers, undertakers, automobile salesmen, sex therapists, interior decorators, gynecologists, and perhaps a president of our United States. we celebrate their beginnings. I proudly give you our graduating class. Pat Rosen, Robin Gallup, Betsy DeBella, David Marwood, Kimberly Ann, Kimberly Ann, Jonathan Martin, Max Clooney, Jeffrey J. Newman, Jennifer Grant, Inga Johansson, Edward Morris, school again. Do you intend never to graduate? Mm. Uh, where'd she get? A cousin of Southern Methodist sent to me. How long can we keep it? As long as we want. He says we're sexually ignorant. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah. Hey, you guys, will you see what we got? Hey, hold on. Can we tell us about his dream? So then she takes out this kazoom. Kazoombi? What's that? You know, you know, no noms, chooches, tits. You know, she flashes at me right in the middle of the graduation ceremony. The biggest kazoombi I ever saw. This girl was practically deformed. Then Carter steps in my gown, and the whole graduating class is looking at my wiener. They'd need magnifying glasses to see your wiener. It's more like a wienerette. Oh, yeah, well, when they saw it, I got a standing ovation. They were standing to get a better look. Well, at least I had something they wanted to see, Wendy. Well, we've got something you'll all want to see. A stag film. A real stag film? Mm -hmm. You're too young, Pee Wee. Your throat is stunted enough. Come on, Meek, you gotta let me see it. You gotta... Well, I don't know, Pee Wee. This has got more beaver in it than the entire state of Wisconsin. They say you can go blind from looking at stuff like that. No, the only way you'll go blind is by looking at it like that. Yeah, well, you got any better ideas? Well, I am the president of the audiovisual club. Yeah, it looks like your entire arm. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Hey, you're fucking my dude. 
Close the door, Packer Brett. The light's coming in. Decency demands that the culprit be thrown out of school. These pupils don't deserve to graduate. They're sick. They're perverted. <laughs> They're retarded. Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, I demand to know what you intend to do about this. Mr. Carter! Uh, oh, oh, yes, this is awful. Awful. Especially the woman with the big teeth. With the big teeth. I am ashamed at each and every one of you. What have you got to say for yourselves? Maybe you better explain to them what will happen at the culprit who's responsible for the schlock film doesn't step forward. Yes, certainly. What will happen? Expulsion for all of them. Right, right. Who is responsible? Uh, Mr. Carter. I brought it in. But I don't think that the film can be fairly judged without viewing it in its entirety. How's that? Uh, he means it's true there is some nudity. Some nudity. But I can assure you, before the principal performers disrobed, they were fully clothed. That's right. It's art. It's filth. Disgusting, naked filth. Uh, Miss Bellbrecher, if I may be so bold, that's your characterization. They all had boners. Mr. Carr, I will not stand here and be accused of having a boner. Uh, this particular film was uh, directed by the infamous Sven. Uh, Sven Splinken Sven, from Sweden. Sven, Sweden. Oh, Sven Splinken from Sweden. 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 It's yeah. trash, trash, garbage, trash. gunk. Trash. And we're late for class. Oh, yes, uh, yes, a good idea. Uh, uh, go, go back to your classes. Except McCarty and Turner. I haven't finished with you two yet. Good luck, guys. Uh, when, uh, when can we arrange a screening? Uh, I'll have to check the schedule, because you, the projectors are sort of tied up with the safety films. Uh, safety films? You know, uh, when you go to cross the street, watch out where you put your feet. Look both ways and be alert. If a car hits you, it's gonna hurt. Safety, safety, it's a safe, safe way to be. Come on, guys, pick it up. There's too much gloom around here. Are you kidding? They're kicking our asses out. Angel Beach hasn't been in the state finals in over 20 years. Maybe it's because your cheers are crawling. Why don't you get some new ones? What's wrong with our cheers? Apparently, they're not working. If you really want to help us, why don't you throw a victory party after the game? Okay, if you win, you got it. And we're not talking about a milk and cookies party. We want an orgy. Orgy? Yeah, I think Tommy has a point here. That's what the Roman women did for the gladiators after a big battle. They threw a victory orgy. Forget it. No way! What do you think? I'm with you. I'm in. It's worth a shot. The slumber party cheer. Change the words. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, not you. Go on, go on.
tied at seven. 27 seconds left to decide who goes to the state championship. That's the girl in my dream. Buddy, your motor's running. Why don't you save it for the orchard? Good game, coach. What are you guys doing here? You shouldn't be on school grounds. Yeah, what are you going to do? Give us detention? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I don't exactly have all the money right now. I, I, I'll talk to Porky. I, I can get the rest of the money in about a month or so. And now, look. You's the one that come into Porky's. You's the one that got drunk. Now, we asked you not to gamble. I, I know. I got carried away. You'll get carried away again. Pieces. You heard it all, huh? Not that word. You could do anything but say all my So, uh, when is this orgy supposed to begin? As soon as my parents leave. They just want to say hello. They're not going to stay very long. Neither are we. Well, I guess we got to be going. Oh. Oh. Sorry, we got to have dinner with the Franklins. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. oh, well, listen, if it's that important, I mean... Oh, have a good night. Have a great Well, ladies, let's go. Let's orgy! Let's get it on. Hell no, let's get it off. Hold it! What? Who's this? Now, you line up like good little Roman soldiers. Pay attention. Follow the rules. First, we all get undressed. Let's go, you? gentlemen. We're gonna get laid. We're gonna get laid. Oh, don't get scared. It's amazing what my fertile mind can come up with. I can't believe they're gonna go through with it. We're gonna get laid. Well, Billy, you'll finally get to see your girl naked. <laughs> She's not bad either. Oh, very funny. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, last one in is last one in. Roman soldiers in the deep end. <laughs> What'd you tell? <die? laughs> Where's meat? Oh, sheesh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, soldiers, get it off. We're gonna 
In the Roman army, there were gladiators, slaves, horsemen, and cannoneers. Cannoneer, I'm definitely a cannoneer. <laughs> and eunuch. What's a eunuch? It's a guy with no balls. I'm a horseman! You start swimming toward us. I'll make it graceful. Come to your ladies' heroes. <laughs> Just make it graceful. And what about your cannoneer? Oh, I'm a cannoneer. What are you guys going to do? Leave me here or what? in a pool. Would you please go get our clothes? No way, man. If they're making a movie, I gotta be the main attraction. That's meets right. Be where you go. You're the short subject. Ha, 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 ha. I'm naked, treading water in a pool. You're making jokes. Jokes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go find a plug for the lights. Yeah, yeah, plug. OK, you guys, quit stalling. Who's going to be well, first? What the hell? I always wanted to be a star. <laughs> oh, he's not going to do it. He is going to do it. <laughs> Get a shot of this, babe. Well, girls, how about that work, huh? That's what the work like this. We're going to get laid. We're going to get laid. Here comes your main attraction. came back a little late. You missed a wonderful party. Yeah, it was really a great spread. Your daughter, Connie, really is lovely. I hope we can call on her again. Hey, uh, listen, we don't be rude or nothing, but, like, we gotta get up early for basketball practice tomorrow, okay? Well, eat to eat and run. You know what they say, the early bird gets in the bush. Take it easy. Tommy, got my shoes up there. It was the most yeah. humiliating experience of my life. I mean, it wasn't bad enough. We're running around the pool, bare-assed, with our winkies flopping in the breeze. Hey, you you gotta decide winky, you're going to go out and greet right? your folks, yeah, bare-assed. That's a good time. Really good That's idea. Good too. I liked it. I don't care. Oh, I'm like glad it. you guys like it. You love eat. running around the pool when you're friends. Do you not? I'm watching the road. Well, you're not watching the road. What are you going to aggravate me? I'm going to aggravate you. 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 I'm I'm gonna start hanging out with myself. Well, you hang out with yourself a lot by the looks of it. And hey, you know what? You're pissed off. You're pissed off because you didn't get to be a cannoneer. When we went there, you thought it was gonna work. Everything was fine. I thought and the now, food was fine. Nah, because you didn't know. No, no, no. Hey, you, you had your hand on my ass. Man. That's why. I couldn't yeah. avoid it. Hey, slow down. There's Brian. Hey, Brian. Whoa. What the hell happened to you? Yeah, aren't you a little bit late for the orgy? We've well, got something important to do. Why don't you pick me up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, pour it oil. <laughs> so, how was your orgy? Why weren't you there? Yeah. Uh-oh. What went wrong? No orgy, huh? Well, there was a tender moment with Connie's parents. <laughs> Come on, drive. Where are we going? Porky's. Porky's? What are we going to Porky's? No, 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 no way. Right. Look, the coach Goodenough's in trouble. What are you talking about? The coach is a good guy. He's helped us out a lot of times. Now I think it's our turn to help him out. Well, I agree with that, but uh, we go to Porky's, and then what do we do when we get there? It's easy. We 
uh, shoot pictures of his illegal gambling casino, and then we take him to the DA. Ah, oh, come on. Pork ain't gonna let us anywhere near his place. Meet, if you remember, we didn't exactly have a written invitation the last time we called. Buddy, look at that ass. I could lick her waist. No, you don't lick a waist. That's not one of the designated areas. Oh. How you doing, babe? Huh? Oh. Yeah. 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 Hey, oh, me. God. See you later. Come on, man. Hey, man. Come on, son, huh, man? Uh, I am blossomed. Why do they call you meat? Why do they call you blossom? We happened. I guess he hasn't fixed it up since our last visit. He must have. I mean, I heard the coach say he was there. Somewhere. Well, yeah, well, what do we do when we get there? Let's just get there. Unbelievable. Me, man. She said she was gonna leave me out there on the highway unless I promised to show her why they call me meat. 
Are you still talking? You think this is funny, right? Huh? Hey, look, you. Come on, get out of my car. Okay, guys, enough, enough. Look, we still got to find a way to get onto this boat. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. Blossom, you have a good time tonight, child? Yes, I did, Daddy. Is that Porky's daughter? That's it. What's it? I mean, do you know how to use a camera? For what? Because you've got to take this and go with that girl into the casino and take a few photos of the layout. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. She's going to let me go into her old man's illegal, illegal casino to take pictures? What, are you nuts? Well, you have to, um, distract her. Distract her with what? My friend, there comes a time in every man's life where he must rise to the occasion. Oh, come on, man. In this moment, I'm not again. Every time you guys get a wild hair up your ass, I gotta go stick my neck out, you know? Not my pants. Not my pants. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Not my pants. Yeah, not my pants. pants. I like a man who plays hard to get. Will you stop it? Please, huh? Come on, will you get off of me? Oh, I want to ride you, jungle beast. Hey, come on, beast. I, please, I get rid of my oh. shorts. Get, come on, leave me alone. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, shut up. Cut it out. Well, what's going on? Well, meat's doing pretty great up there. Are you sure? Yeah, he's doing terrific. Yeah, he's getting a lot of pictures. Okay, boys, what the hell are you doing here? This is private property. Ah! What the fuck you all think you're doing? Oh, well, I, we, we were... It... You was trespassing, boy. According to the law, I could shoot... Great galloping gobs of ghost shit. Your little bastards are ruining my place. I'm glad to see you back, boys. Because now I'm going to ruin you for good. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, look, I... you really don't want to do this. I don't, huh? Uh, Porky, do you really think we came all, all this way down here to see you without, without a good reason? I mean, we knew we were risking our lives. At least give us a chance to talk to you. You better talk fast, boy. Because I've been wanting to find you kids for one hell of a long time. Look, uh, do you think we could uh, go ashore and talk? This is kind of complicated business. Yes, we'd like to talk business. Business? Business. Kill the little fuckers. Do the word state championship mean anything to you? Yeah, it does. All right. Let's go into my bar. Maybe we can uh, talk some. How, 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 get your foot in there. Where are you? What are you doing? I was my fans. This ain't funny here. Where's my pants? What the hell are you doing? Here, big boy. Now, what is this bullshit about the state championship, boy? Yeah, uh, state championship. That's that's what we were talking about, wasn't it? Uh, Tommy, why, why don't you explain what we mean when we, we say state championship? Right. Uh, Billy, I think you're probably better at this sort of thing. Uh-huh. No, thank you, sir. I don't drink. Hey, I don't do business with pussies. Drink up. Drink! You. Uh... You were saying? This ain't funny, man. There's somebody downstairs. We gotta get dressed and get out of here. Come on, big boy. Ride me. Yeah, come on. Ride me. Yes. 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 You're gonna throw the state championship? Bullshit. Yeah. You have a word on it. Yes. 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 We told Porky we throw the game, right? So the coach is off the hook, and now it's our asses, right? I don't believe it. Four years of practice, we finally get to the state championship, and we got to lose. Look, I mean, we at least got the coach out of trouble, right, guys? 
Yeah, ourselves into it. Hey, what's life all about? Living! It's definitely about living. Yeah? Well, I ain't throwing no game. Hey, that's it. Of course. It's so simple. All we have to do is win that game. Right. Win what are you Yeah, game? sure. And then we're heroes, and nobody fucks with heroes. I bought the funny phone. Wait a second, I like his idea. Look, if we hold a, a press conference after we win the game and announce that certain un, unscrupulous elements wanted us to throw that game, nobody will be able to touch us. We'll be a shining example of good, clean American youth. Us? Yeah. We believe in mom, apple pie, and the American flag, right? Yeah, people eat that stuff up. Including me, especially the part about winning games. Well, Angel Beach game? Yeah! Yeah! You may notice the pericardium, which is that little sac around the heart. Once you find it, be... <clears throat> Mr. Tuparello, you have not made your dorsal incision. I don't feel so hot. Make the incision. I can't. Here is your scalpel. Now cut. expect me to believe that the captain of the basketball team would, would faint at the sight of a mere frog? It wasn't just a frog, it was a dead frog. She wanted me to cut the thing open. She hates me. Miss Webster is one of the finest, most dedicated teachers in this school. She wants you to get the best education possible, if that's possible. Even. Now get this, Tuparillo. Even if it means giving up all extracurricular activities. I'll do anything as long as I can play basketball. I was talking about basketball! I can't give a plan. We're going to the state championships. Fail your biology exam, and the team will have to win without you. Miss Webster's recommended that you not be allowed to play basketball unless you get a passing grade on her biology exam, and I'm backing her up on that 100%! Get the hell out of here! Got it covered. What's the problem, buddy? Door won't open. Try the knob. Okay. Spread out. Search the drawers, the shelves, everywhere. exam look like? It's furry. It's got balls this big. What the hell do you think a biology exam looks like? Oh, I didn't know. I'm not in your class. Hey, meat. Human brain. <laughs> you could use one, huh? Hey, meat. You okay? Me? Let's get some air. Break into Miss Webster's apartment and steal an exam? Think about this, Tommy. If we get caught, we could get sent to jail. Think about this. If Meat doesn't pass a biology exam, we can kiss the state championship goodbye. Whoa, not 
bad. Some joint. Let's just hurry up, get the test, get the hell out of here, okay, guys? Hey, maybe you better check that desk. Yeah, check the desk. Yeah, check the desk. my grandma's apartment here. She's dusting her furniture. Oh, this must be our lucky day. Maybe we can watch her give her cat a flea bath. My grandmother doesn't have a cat. Oh, but she's in your family. I bet she has fleas. You guys cut it out. We gotta get back to work. Perillo really is a dumb son of a bitch. Hey, he's gonna win the state championship for us. We need him. Need? I don't need him throwing frogs down my blouse. Oh, he's just a kid. He's no kid. Okay. He's a dumb son of a bitch. What'll it be tonight? I could be the southern bartender, and you can be the impotent alcoholic monk that just escaped from the monastery. Oh, Cuddy, that's my favorite. What'll it be? Honey. Gus, I don't know. I'm 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 not much of a drinker. You don't look like you're much of anything to me. Uh, I know that's what they, they tell me at the monastery. How about some Benedictine? Sure. You're the boss. Isn't that what they drink at the monastery? Uh, on, the, on the rocks. Oh, Monastery. I guess because I, I always wondered what it would be like to. to, to Say it! Please, uh, Chris! Uh, uh, Come on. 
I view the Slinken film. Uh, is Slinken the sweet, Swedish director? Remember you said oh, you had arranged right, a screening? Right. Yes. Uh, you're really going to love it, sir. There's this uh, man in black socks and a mask. He represents the loneliness of the Hungarian peasants. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, I'll schedule the film just as soon as we stop running those personal hygiene films. The hygiene films? You know, uh, take a bath every day, let your odor float away. Hygiene means we all keep clean. See what I mean? Take a bath every day. Let your old up float away. Keep clean, Billy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting here. I'm looking through this keyhole. I have this incredible view, right? Guys, I'm telling you, these two are hot. They're really hot. Dopish and Miss Webster? I can't believe it. Then what happened? I don't know. I had to leave when they started singing Mac the Knife. Pee Wee says Dobish and Miss Webster are going at it again in her apartment tonight. So? So. We might be able to get some photographs of that. Perfect blackmail material. Forget it. We blew it last time with your stupid camera. Look, I'll take the photographs this time. I'll even rent a better camera with some telephoto lenses. Well, how do we get the shots? Easy. Pee Wee's grandmother lives right across the street. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out, Brian. Come on, let's leave my grandmother out of this. Pee Wee. If you let us use your grandmother's apartment, I'll give you your own private, personal collection of photographs of Dobish and Miss Webster, including Mac the Knight. So what time do I tell her to expect us? I can't wait to share this recipe with my mother. I wish I had a grandmother just like you. Thank you, boys. Thank you. I sure do appreciate your help. Oh, it's our pleasure, Grandma. To be in the company of such a gracious, charming, attractive woman is a joy. Yes, and to allow us into your kitchen and teach us all your great culinary secrets. Well, my husband, Fat Harry, may rest in peace, always used to tell me never shit a shit. <laughs> Here's his teeth. You know, he was such a great eater. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee got a great grandma. Isn't she great? One of a kind. Work of art. Yeah, made her and threw away the mold. Oh, Edward, where'd you ever find these slick boys? Did you just meet them? Uh, no, Grandma. We've been friends for a long time. Well, how come you never told me about it? Well, I, uh, I've been busy. Never say you're too busy to visit your grandmother. Now eat your soup. I already broke the bread for you. You sure you know how to work these things? Yeah. You know, they're, uh, they're pretty complicated. It's so simple a child could use them. Ed Omi knows it's an insult meat. Say anything you want, just take the pictures, huh? Okay. Tell me again about that boy at the window with the camera. Um, you see, he's studying photography, and he needs these pictures for his term paper. And it's only from my window that he should get such pictures. You have a great view. The perfect angle.
Now, could you excuse us a second, Grandma? Yeah, we'll be right back. You hungry? I'm always hungry. He's always hungry, Grandma. You want to eat? Yeah. Who? It's funny, buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grandma's funny. <laughs> we just hit pay dirt. Getting it all. Mac the knife. You got a chain. Cat of nine tails. What are they doing? Whipping up meat a 4.0 grade average. Team arts and crafts and wrestling. Bubbles may be the captain of the girls' wrestling team, but Snooky Kelton is the one she'd most like fumbling around with. They called Balbricker Bubbles. <laughs> Let's see what old Snooky looks like. He is Sam Snooky <laughs> Kelton. You know, I wonder what would happen if we got old Bubbles and Snooky back together again. You just gave me a wonderful idea. You guys hungry? Yeah, let's hit dead beats. My dearest, darling, Bubble. It's been so long since I've felt your grip. It's not the size of the dog, it's how hard he bites. Tommy, you're not gonna believe this. It's great. I can't wait. It's incredible. I can't believe it. Look, she's been in the motel room. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Believe it. I mean, the girl must have recognized that I'm in my prime. Yeah, I mean, you know, she's Swedish. They have knowledge. She says she's gonna meet you in the Moonbeam Motel, room 48. Naked and ready. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 easy, easy. Naked and ready. You gonna go dress like that? Yeah, what's wrong with the way I look? Ringa? From a foreign country with the, the great gazumbies? Your old man got a tux? A tuxie? Well, yeah. Why? Why don't, why don't you get it? You show up, all distinguished, tuxedo, nice big bow tie. She'll like it. Thanks, Tommy. You do no. Don't take flowers and candy. Show up like a man. A man? Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. Great. Lucky bus. Hello, boys. What's going on, ladies? <laughs> How about old Ballbricker in the raw, in a motel room, waiting for her true love? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Ballbricker sent this reply to the post office box I assigned to Snooky Kelton. She wrote, Dear Snooky, after all these years and after all that's happened, it was wonderful hearing from you again. I would love to see you whenever and wherever you want. 
Just name the time and the place, impatiently yours, Bubbles. I name the time and the place. She's going to show up? The Moonbeam Motel, right about now. But not with Snooky. Who with? Pee-wee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it down. Here he comes. Come in. Is that you, darling? We had a program. Hey, come here, girls. <laughs> I can't wait. Everything okay so far? Yep. Great. <laughs> oh, candy. It tastes so good. So uh, what's going on? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in there with Ball Bricker. Ball Bricker? Oh. Well, Jesus, Pee Wee, if you're not in there, who the hell is? Oh. 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 Tommy Turner. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you think I was made with a finger? Fucking finger. <laughs> Just be happy in the game at all. Well, 
Turns out that we didn't need those photographs in this Webster after all. Wendy tutored me, and you know, I'm pretty sure I passed. Why didn't you tell me? What are you talking about? I told Billy. He said that he was going to leave the photograph. No. No, I left him right on Miss Webster's desk. right answers. Well, that's good. Not as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to make sure that that Anthony Tuparillo doesn't play in that basketball game. Why didn't you tell me the final game is tonight? Everybody knows it's tonight. It's for the state championship. Well, if it's such an important event, why aren't we going? I promised I'd take Sharon and the kids. You're taking your wife to a school function? Darling, it's just for tonight. Don't you, darling, me, you two timing pervert. Okay, get out. Out. Okay, okay. Out. I'll I never want to see you again. Freak. Out. Out. Howdy, coach. What are you doing here? I, I don't have the money yet. Hey, don't worry about a thing. That's already been taken care of. I got a bundle riding on this game tonight. Do you understand me? Well, I hope you bet on Angel Beach. You're a very funny man, Coach. Very funny man. Games <laughs> are returning to the dressing room for our last minute instruction. Tonight you have the chance to be champions. And if you do that, I'm the coach that got you there, and that's what my life is about. Now, I want you to go out there, win. Locker room. Coach. Coach, good enough. Oh, Miss Webster, what can I do for you? Hold it, Neat. I can't let you play. Why not? That was Miss Webster. You failed your biology exam. Oh, come on, Coach. It's impossible. I know I passed. Come on, you guys. Quit stalling. Get Coach? out there and play. Coach, there's no way we can win without Who's gonna me. I quit stalling. You guys got a game to win. Something about these will both be out. Oh 
I know they're bigger and stronger, but if we don't start crashing the boards in the second half, the score of this game's gonna wind up in the Guinness Book of Embarrassing Records. Locker room. Coach. Coach, good enough. <laughs> and upon closer scrutiny, I discovered that Mr. Tuporello has passed his biology <laughs> exam. <laughs> So should you decide that his participation would enhance your chances at the basketball championship, please feel free to use him. married to her and then with two seconds left a reserve guard with nerves of steel came to the fore edward peewee morris took the last shot to win the game proving that this young man has ice water running in his veins <laughs> who's gonna love that you know come and think where the hell is he guys what's uh, with him how do i look you look like you had a rug 
Oh, yeah? Well, when Porky comes looking for you guys, just remember who is smart enough to wear a disguise. <laughs> He's not gonna come looking for us. Uh -uh. Yeah, you made the winning shot. Says so right here in the paper. Oh, shit. It was luck, I'm telling you. It was just luck. The ball landed in my hands. I just threw it up in the air so the Tarman guys wouldn't kill me. I didn't know where the basket was. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Did you see who's on the beach? Paul Griffin. She's been there all morning. God, I feel awful. Why? Look what we did to her. We built up her hopes to see somebody she's been crazy about all these years, and then we zapped her with a sick, practical joke. What do you mean, we? All right, I started it. It's my fault. I feel terrible. Well, how do you think I feel? I was in bed with her. <laughs> Boy, she looks in pretty bad shape. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Yes, there is. We can find Snooky Kelton. Well, what are you nuts? How are we gonna find him? Yeah, besides, he could be dead already, for all we know. He's alive and living in Miami, and we can be there by this afternoon. filth. Pornographic filth. I sat through every disgusting frame of this film. Twice. And as a result, I am physically ill. Mr. Carter, art is a very subjective phenomenon. Can it, Bacotti? You're not going to pull the wool over my eyes again. Now, I have no choice but to... Everybody, I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, no, 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 you're not late at all, Miss Bob. About the film, no, you, you were perfectly right. It is the worst piece of pornographic trash that I've ever seen. It's raunchy, degrading, beneath the human dignity. Come off it. 
Harold. Don't be such a tight ass. Mwah. Oh, I, I he was your wrong, friend. and he's sorry. Aren't you? Aren't you? Uh-huh. Hmm. All right. Snooky. 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 Mr. Kelton, an old friend and former alumnus of Angel Beach High, has generously offered to donate his beautiful home and host the party for this year's senior prom. Huh, huh, yeah, that's great. But what about the Splinkin film? Well, I uh, guess I better be going now and, and let the seniors know the good news. Uh, Thank you both so much. It's, it's really going to mean a lot to everybody. It means a lot to me. Uh, wow. Gosh. Gee. Zowie. Snooky, I'd like you to meet Edward Morris. Hi, how are you? Uh, Edward, have you met our exchange student, Bingo? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at the nice people. Isn't she pretty? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Goose is airing out a Chevy again. We better walk. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Leave it there, meat. We're gonna walk in. Shall we? Also, it's really a drag, man. Come all the way down here. Win the state championships. I bring the car here. I put on this monkey suit, and now I gotta walk there. It's really garbage, man. Oh! <laughs> Tell those double-crossing, rat-faced basketball pricks that Porky finally got his revenge. <laughs> Mr. Meat Tipperello will be at no graduation. He's signing on board the HMS Pig Nuts with me for an indefinite cruise. Do you understand me? That's kidnapping. It's not kidnapping when he's going to be my son-in-law, girl. And that he's going to be. This is the most important day of my life, you understand? It's not every day that my blossom gets married, and I don't want nobody fucking it up. You get that? I got it, Porky. All you gotta do, girl, is come down the aisle with him and give him away. And don't fuck it up. I won't fuck it up. I'm gonna come down the aisle, and I'm gonna give meat away. All right, you got it. Now get your ass back to work, come on. What's the matter with you? Can't you smile, boy? Huh? Daddy, I'm sorry what to interrupt What the hell are you doing here? Don't you know it's bad but luck Daddy, for the groom to see the bride before the wedding? Get your ass no. back in your cow. I'm in layoff.
Come on, give me a hand, me. Come on. Get up here. You gotta forgive me for my temper, me. But I'm glad to see my son-in-law as a moxie guy. Because that's exactly what I want for my grandson. What grandson? The one from you and Blossom, asshole. Now, what the hell you think you're getting married for, boy? Beats the shit out of me. You know, I hope we don't have to do that. Ah, oh, shit, those days are over. Man, all I want now is a young grandchild, a little pork, somebody to bounce on my knee, teach him how to hustle. Beat people, go fishing, break heads, kick ass. Something to be proud of. Carry on the family name. Went out. No fooling. Uh, e. Oh, my God. Like right in the Titanic. Damn it. God. Yeah. I know you're out there, you little bastards. And I'm going to find you. There you are, you candy asses. Hey, ugly. Hey, pig man. I'm going to get you. I'm going to chew up your asses. Antagonizing him. Will you get the motor spotted? Wait, Jake, he's coming after us. That's exactly what we want. Come on,
suicide. Best graduation ever. So what are we gonna do it? Do what? Didn't you tell Pee Wee about it? Of course I told him. Tell me what? We're all gonna flash when we get to the podium. Flash what? In your case, not much. Oh, you didn't think I fell for that practical joke of yours, did you? What practical joke? You know about not wearing clothes underneath our gowns and then we get to the podium mooning the audience. Check it out, I knew it. Yeah. Oh yeah, well then how come you guys are wearing clothes underneath your gowns? may look like we're dressed, but in fact. Cut-offs. Go ahead. 
Just reach down into your gown. Take them off. Should I? No one will see. You can do it, Kiwi. Just be safe. I'm sorry. He's a strange boy. You've raised me a very strange grandson. Okay, so by the time Inga's getting her diploma, we'll all be near the podium. That's when we do. Inga? Yeah, she's going to flash too. Inga! Do you have clothes underneath your gown? It's American custom, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inga Johansson. Edward Morris. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of makes you feel warm yeah. all over. <laughs>